My name is Yuha P. Koko. I was an Asa Candler Professor and Chairman of Medicine at Emory from 1986 until 1999. When I came to this department, that uh, the teaching and clinical activities were outstanding, but there was only one R01 NIH grant in the entire department. Clearly, our ranking was in the very bottom as ranked by NIH standards. And uh, that was my first effort. I had spent a total of three million dollars on uh, getting cardiology going. And that return in uh, about six year time was 19.9 million dollars in direct costs. And six million six hundred thousand dollars in indirect cost. Not every dean would like to have that. Similarly, in uh, nephrology, we spent $1.1 million on in nephrology, and their return was $9.1 million in direct cost and $3.6 million in indirect costs. While hematology, we spent $1.9 million of uh, my developmental package and they returned back in direct costs and uh, research dollars as uh, $11.9 million and indirect cost of $4.7. This model is successful in my opinion. And it has, not only did it add distinguishment to our department, but it really developed an atmosphere of penetrating scholarship when all these people were uh, trying to get their grants and indeed we were very successful in getting their grants. There were a lot of breakthroughs, many of them local breakthroughs of reorganizing uh, teaching which was a major focus to reorganizing clinical service and basically to do a culture change. There have been a number of clinical breakthroughs at Emory. Those include uh, the arrival of Dr. Grunzig and his efforts at, uh, at the coronary catheterization and then all of the progression that have occurred from those, uh, those initial studies by Dr. Grunzig uh, it, it certainly opened uh, a whole world of treatment for cardiovascular disease. Uh, uh, subsequently, uh, inventions uh, that came out of work uh, at Emory, including the development of the HIV drugs uh, for uh, now uh, turning what was a death sentence uh, in, in terms of HIV into a, a treatable uh, illness. Those are a couple of examples of, of successes that have been, uh, that have come not only from the department but from the institution. When I came to this department in 1986, we had one member in a Young Turks, the American Society of Clinical Investigation. We had one member in the Old Turks, the Association of American Physicians. By 1994, those numbers had increased to the point that uh, we had 15 Young Turks, uh, members of the American Society of Clinical Investigation, and we had six members of the Association of American Physicians, the AAP, in addition to one member of the Institute of Medicine. So uh, we've had a lot of research breakthroughs at Emory uh, that are, are, uh, are important. Uh, we've had great strides in our understanding of immunology and how immunology, human immunology can be, uh, how we can manipulate the human immune system. Uh, recently there was a lot of, of development that was really Emory-led in terms of a molecule called PD-1, which uh, uh, those drugs are now being used to turn to, uh, they are basically, the molecule PD-1, it acts as a break on the immune system. 
Uh, drugs are now available to turn off that break, and for example, President Carter is being uh, treated with those drugs that, for his melanoma, as an example. And a lot of that immuno basic immunology work was originally done at Emory. Atlanta has been called the public health capital of the world, and I think with good reason. Uh, the presence of the CDC, the National Cancer, or the uh, um, American Cancer Society, uh, and other institutions have become a magnet for individuals. In addition, uh, the Carter Center and other international programs, uh, our Global Health Institute, for example, has very close connectivity with the Gates, Inst uh, Gates Foundation in Seattle. So Atlanta has really become a magnet. Emory is a, a, is a central part of that magnet for, 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 attracting, uh, for attracting individuals into our community. So I think with these accomplishments and with the research dollars as well as the memberships in these honored societies, I think Emory again became a serious player on the academic scene and I'm very, very proud of that accomplishment. <music>